Hi, I'll be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus to see if it's still worth buying in 2020. The Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus release date was March 2018. To be precise, March 16, 2018, and it runs on Android version 8.0 operating system. The phone is powered by an auto core processor. There's not much difference in performance between the S9 Plus and the S8 Plus. The S9 Plus was one of the first camera phones with a wide aperture, giving both S9 models low light and noise defeating features. The camera on the S9 Plus is stunning, one of the best camera phones at the time of release. My name is GDYK. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome to Random Box TV. I would like you to please subscribe and turn on the notification button so anytime I upload a new video, you get notified. Don't forget to visit my website at randomunboxedtv.com so let's get right into the full review. For the design, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus is the bigger version of the Galaxy S9. It has a larger screen, a bigger battery, the S9 Plus has the same screen size as the S20 that was released this year. The Galaxy S9 Plus is an IP68 rated smartphone with a curved glass and a metal body finish, which is comfortable to hold but slippery without a cover. When compared with the S8 Plus design, there's no much difference. Basically, you can actually tell the difference between both devices if you're holding it. The S9 Plus has a 6.2 inch display. At the front, the front camera is placed beside the iris scanner above the screen, along with notification LED light and a bunch of sensors. At the back, you'll find two cameras, and below the vertically aligned camera is a fingerprint sensor, which is easier to reach, and beside the camera is an LED flash. On the left is the volume button and the big buy button. The power button is on the right of the phone with the micro SD card slot above it. At the bottom of the S9 Plus, you find a 3.5 headphone jack, USB Type C charging port, and a speaker. The Samsung Glass S9 Plus comes basically in five colors midnight black, coral blue titanium grey and sunrise gold color. For the display, Samsung Glass S9 Plus comes with a 6.2 inch Super AMOLED curve display. Basically all Samsung smartphones these days come with their AMOLED screen. The screen has a resolution of 14 by 40 by 29 by 60 pixels with 18 by 5 by 9 aspect ratio and a 514 PPI pixels per inch density with a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 screen protection. It can display a quad HD plus resolution, yet it still looks outstanding at the default HD 1080p with a combination of the curved edges, the vibrant colors, the high contrast ratio makes this phone actually stand out. The screen covers 90% of the S9 Plus front. The S9 Plus front has little bezels with no notch. There's no in-screen fingerprint sensor. You are getting a display here that delivers 98% RGB coverage in basic mode and average color accuracy. The Samsung Glass S9 Plus has a stunning screen, which I believe people that like watching movies and TV shows online will really appreciate 2020. For the camera, the S9 Plus has three cameras in total. Two rear cameras with 12 megapixels plus 12 megapixels with autofocus, and the front camera 8 megapixels with autofocus. The primary 12 megapixels camera can skip from focal length of 2.2 aperture all the way down to a focal length of 1.5 which is the lowest in a smartphone. 
having a focal length of 1.5 aperture has a couple of benefits. It's able to take a much blurred background portrait shot. In addition to this, it enhances low light shot drastically. Basically, you're able to take nice shots in low light. Features of the selfie camera are bright but too high in saturation. For the memory, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus comes in different variants. 6GB of RAM, 8GB of RAM, 128-512GB of internal storage, and the memory card slot expandable up to 512GB. This version of the S9 Plus I'm testing out has a 6GB of RAM, the ones with a storage, a card slot with an hybrid slot up to 512GB. For the hybrid slot, the dual SIM and the memory card cannot be used together, but only a single SIM can be used if you add the memory card. For the performance, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus in 2020 is still an outstanding phone based on the performance. Thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset, which is available in the US and China, and Samsung's own chipset, the Samsung Exynos 9810, which is used globally. Performance, however, depends not only on the processor, but also a lot on the GPU and the RAM capacity. This version of Samsung Galaxy X9 Plus runs on Android 8.0 Oreo operating system, so I'll go ahead and list all the features that enhances the performance for this device on the screen. The processor in the S9 Plus is also the same processor that powers the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy Note 9 smartphones. The smartphone S9 delivers a smooth experience overall, dating sort out during multitasking as well as intense gaming. The Bixby voice assistant is just there, I didn't really use this feature. Another thing that stood out on the S9 Plus are the speakers. The speakers at the top and at the bottom are very loud and almost sound as clear as the iPhone X speakers. For the battery life, Galaxy S9 Plus comes with a non removable 3500mAh battery with fast charging. The battery life on the S9 Plus can take you throughout the day in a single charge with moderate use. Fast charging the S9 Plus with included charger brings the battery up from 0% to 19%. For the connectivity, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus has all the connectivity options that the standard mount smartphone includes GPRS, Edge, 3G, 4G, Voice LTE, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth version 5.0, USB-C 3.1 and wireless charging. Now, the Samsung S9 Plus worth buying in 2020? Well, there's a lot at the interest out of this device. For example, the Samsung AI Big Spy and the Emoji. Apart from that, even though it's already two years since this phone was released, the Samsung S9 Plus is still a cool device to own in 2020. And I'll say, I think it's cheaper than the iPhone X. If you're on the tight budget, the plunge in performance is not significant. If you're not bothered about this drop in performance, you can still go ahead and pick it up. It's your best bet. However, if you still want to upgrade, I would suggest you go for the S10. The S20 has minor upgrades to last year's S10. Although the last S20 has the best camera, this is all for my review. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button and check out my website randomunboxtv.com. If you have any questions, drop in the comment section on any of our blog posts and I'll get back to you. Thank you.